This is the GAN 356XS. For the next five and a half minutes, I will be reviewing this amazing cube and revealing what secrets it may hold. Starting off with the box. It has a very unique style and it's just plain and simple. I like it a lot. Now, having that box done, we can go inside here. We have, of course, the cube, the accessories box, and a really cool little card thing very cool and we'll check out the accessories box later so the cube we'll open it up it is seven, 67 grams and the 54 millimeters big and it has a honeycomb shape in there my camera just won't read it but it's honeycomb and it circle centerpiece it's just kind of hard to see the shape with all that black outline so now the turning it depends if it's fast or slow because it can be either it has a pretty good adjustment system I will do that later but it has a big variety of, of feel so just keep that in mind it's not a blocky feel, it's, and it's not round, more round feel. It's actually just right in between, like the perfect. So I like that a lot about this cube. Now we're going to talk about the 356XS is adjustment system. So when you look in there, it looks a lot like the GAN 11M Pro because it pretty much is like the GAN 11M Pro. It has that little nut in there with the other one around it. So the, so the center nut, the blue nut, it controls like the corner cutting and the, and the pop resistance. So the lower setting you have it on, the more less corner cutting and like, more pop resistance. And the higher setting is big corner cutting and less pop resistance and the clear nut thing that controls the tension and the lighter the setting the the more flexible it will be so for example if you have a lower setting the pieces are going to come more out like this but if you have it at a higher setting they're barely going to come out at all so just to show you guys what that is now that also comes with stuff to adjust it and the blue nut in there comes with two sets a light blue and a dark blue so I had the dark blue in there and also there is a magnet adjustment so I think the um, if you push it down inward it loosens it and if you push it up it tightens it I have it at just the center right now but that is for both sides of the edge on all 12 edges so that's whenever you want to adjust magnets it's 24 of them you have to adjust now it's time to take a look in the accessory box and don't mind my writing up here I just put that there to not lose track of it so you have the the manual for this cube you can learn everything I've taught you in here already and I'm just here to tell you what it's like before you buy the cube so you can check this out once you get it and then we have this mega GAN tutorial thing and um, if you have a GAN you probably have one of those and then of course we got this adjustment thing it has all these little nuts in here and then this tool is for adjusting the clear ones I'm not going to demonstrate it because it's very simple just fig to figure out on your own. Now one last thing. Why is it my main? Well there is quite a few reasons actually. One of which is that it has an in-between feel between blocky and round feel which is really good. And also that has a big variety of adjustments. And that is... And another reason, and the last reason, that is just 
it is just perfect for me, and I really like it. Now, it does not have the core magnets, which I am a fan of. But core magnets just give it a really stiff feel. This one just has a loose feel, which I really like also. So I guess that's it for everything about this thing. Okay, before I go, I want to ask you guys, do you like this background better or my white background? Because I can do either, or if you like them both, I could do both of them. Not the same time of, time, of course. But I guess that's all I have for you guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about it, just leave it in the comments. And I'll see you in another video. Thank you.